how to make these beautiful, delicious, sweet, and fluffy challahs straight out of your own home, better than a bakery. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. We have our food processor and all of our ingredients in front of us. You will need to use the dough blade that comes with your food processor. Place it inside. You have four cups of all-purpose flour, a third cup of cornstarch, half a cup of sugar, one heaping tablespoon of yeast, one egg, three tablespoons of oil, and a teaspoon of salt. Your one cup of water you'll place in after all the ingredients are in and once you've begun your mixer. Start by placing in your flour, your cornstarch, add your sugar, yeast can go on top of your sugar, salt goes on the opposite side of your yeast, your oil, and your egg. Let's turn it on. Gradually begin to add your water, little by little, until all the water is inside of your mixer. Allow your food processor to knead your dough for about three to five minutes. Remove your dough from your food processor and place it in a glass bowl. Drizzle a little bit of oil on top, rub it around, making sure it goes all the way around the entire ball of dough. You're going to proof your dough, cover it with saran wrap or plastic wrap, a clean kitchen towel, and place it in a warm place in your kitchen for about an hour to an hour and a half for its first proofing. After your dough has doubled in size, release the air from your dough Put it back into a ball shape, place it back into your glass bowl, cover it once again, and let it proof for another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. After the second proofing, remove your dough from the bowl, place it on a clean kitchen counter, and divide your dough into eight equal parts. Take your first part and make it into a ball using the palm of your hand, circling it around, and you're going to do that for each one of those pieces of dough. After creating your balls of dough, allow them to proof for about 20 minutes on your counter Cover them up with a clean kitchen towel. Let's begin by making the strands. You're going to roll your ball of dough into a long piece, rolling it out, thicker in the center, thinner as you go out to the sides. You want to taper the ends. You're going to do that for all of your balls of dough, each one opening them up using the palms of your hands. Bring four strands together, attaching them at the top. You can dust them with a little bit of flour so that they don't stick as you braid them.
attach them up top. And then we're going to do a four strand braid. So number two goes out, one goes in the center, two goes out, one goes in the center, two goes out, one goes in the center, switching sides from right to left. Continue braiding all the way down. And then just roll out the ends just a little bit, making them nice and thin. Gives a beautiful shape to your four strand challah. Do the same for your second challah, and then have one beaten egg, brush it on top of your challah, sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds, and allow them to proof for about 30 minutes. You're gonna bake your challahs at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. And look how beautiful they are.